It's a beehive. It really is. Of some variety. Anyway, no, this is the Battle Factory. Um, it is going to be terrifying. But not as terrifying as the last areas. Yeah, because at least in this one, I can blame the game. In the other ones, it was basically my own fault for not having a better team. But uh, here, you just... I could I could actually do open level for this one, but I'm going to do level 50 anyway. Go ahead, save, blah, 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 uh, and you uh, don't get to keep any of your Pokemon for this one. You get rentals. Which are sometimes even rarer than Pokemon you can find in the game. Yeah, a lot of these you can't get in the game. So let's see, uh, Volbeat. Useless. Marshtomp, Mag Cargo, Dustox. Oh god. Anorith and Azumarill. Strangely, all things in the Hoenn decks. Yes, that is, and not really good Pokemon in general. Lychee Berry. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they found Mirage Island, though. <laughs> okay, so anyway, the next, uh, the first person is going to be using Grass types, but I want to pick Pokemon that will actually be good and stay that way. So, uh, Marshtop seems fairly solid. I'll take this one. I sh actually, I should probably not have it first if they're using grass. What, what about you... Mag Cargo? I would say Mag Cargo, even though it's the slowest. Yeah, Mag Cargo to... was honestly a lot better in Fire Red Omega. They gave it stat boosts, so here I can't see it really doing me any favors. But wow, why does it know Ember, not Flamethrower? I don't know. I'll use it for old time's sake, but I'm probably gonna switch it out after the uh, first battle or something. Yeah. Uh, who do I want as my other one? Volbeat kind of blows, but it yeah, does have I would Silver take, Wind. I would take um, Anorith, maybe, or Dust... Yeah, maybe Anorith. Dustox actually has Toxic. Yeah, I know, and Psybeam. It's like, they what? give the good Pokemon bad moves, and the bad ones good moves. So maybe Dustox? I mean, you can try it. Azumarill isn't that bad. Maybe take Azumarill. It, it, has, it does have huge power. And yeah. it has Dig and other various things, so... I mean, so, yeah, I am, I am bringing two water types into this battle against grass types, but you know what? Too bad. Then it turns out it's not grass type. It's actually rock. What the no. crap? What? <laughs> it's actually this water. This is a freaking liar. And it uses... Ro Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, game. And then it uses Roar and keeps doing that. No. Uh, dig. Well, this was great. <laughs> oh my! What? That did nothing at all. Use, um, Bubble Beam. No. Well, we're off to a wonderful start, I can see already. Um. Rock 2, maybe? As long as this thing doesn't actually attack me, I can keep hitting it. I mean, it does have. Eh. Stop bringing that one out. Damn it. No! <laughs> the AI! Okay, thank you. Uh, and, uh, rock mud slap to reduce accuracy, maybe? I don't know. I would go with Rock Tomb to reduce speed. It's a whale march, not that fast. And then it rock outspeeds speed. me anyway, but. Whatever. This, th this thing shouldn't be this difficult to fight, so I'll just keep hitting it. It's, it's uh, in the meantime, I guess I should mentioned that uh you finally did get your LP star tag the star tag. <laughs> yes, yes I did. It's been it was first two episodes were very fun and then something happened in the third episode and I ended up recording way longer than I wanted to, but hey, whatever. Okay, anyway, I don't think there's any actual penalty to losing Pokemon here, so I'm just gonna attack it and then probably die to like needle arm or something. Well, it's not. actually a Cactuar, it knows 1,000 Needles. I might get that reference if I had ever played Final Fantasy games. But, alas, I have not. I'm sure other people who are watching this have. Yeah, I know. So, we have so a Grass So basically, these are Grass types without Grass moves on them. Well, Cacne was more of a Ground. I, I would consider it more of a Ground. It's not even a Ground type, though. It's just pure Grass. <laughs> I'm a moron. It evolves into. Uh, I, I his number. It, it evolves into. Uh, grass dark, but. That's not ground. What was I thinking of? I don't know. Well, you catch it in the desert, so I was just. Eh. Yeah. Okay, next person is normal type user, whatever. Um, I can get. I can switch one out. I. 
kind of like these three, but I would like more type variety, so who should I get rid of? A zoom roll. Yeah. Even with huge power, it was kind of sucking, so... I will take Execute. Yes. Anyway, this is pretty much going to be, uh, the entire thing, so... Enjoy uh, it. I imagine this video is going to be just keep going until either I win or I lose whatever happens, and then after this, uh, I guess show the, uh, factory brain. Who, who is it? What is his name? I, uh... Is it Spencer for this one? I don't even remember all of them. I shall look it up, but it might be a lie, like the... Whale Merbing Grass type. Yes. I do know that uh all of the fact all of the Frontier brains have a name that is related to their like gimmick. Cause uh the Pike was based on luck, so you have Lucy. Lucy. And then yeah. Pyramid is bravery and you have Brandon. This one I think is knowledge, so actually yeah, this one's Noland. I like how I know this. Indeed. Oh god, so many sprites, okay. Um... His name is Noland indeed! Hooray, I remember things. I think he gets a random team too, so... No sort of edge that he has over you other than luck hacks. No clear favorite, so I will switch out Mag... I, I'm kinda liking this Mag Cargo, but I expect that it's gonna screw me over in the end, cause it's not that good. But, uh... And I, I completely missed the last battle, so I would really... I, I was kinda wanna use the Togetic, so... Ooh, Togetic is one of my favorite Pokemon. Color change version toys are useless. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> it means Pokemon Blue version, when it changes to Pokemon Red version, is useless. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, this is a ground type, even though... I, I just love how Vibrava and Flygon look like Bug Flying, and yet they're Ground Dragon. Like, it's not even close. I Viabra, I can see that. Flygon, I can see it as either a dragon. Flygon actually looks, resembles kind of the dragon boss from Donkey Kong 64 if you are wearing, uh -huh. yeah. if you squint and think green is red. I like how it used Dig against a flying type. Smarts, he has none. And it has rock to him, so uh, not good. Oh, brilliant. Anyway, I guess this is a interesting area of the game, uh, if you just want to see a whole bunch of different Pokemon that you don't normally encounter, but... I guess you could it, say that about the Frontier in general, really, so... Eh. But they're not added to your Pokedex as seen, are they? No. Yeah, that, even if they were put there as Pokemon you've seen, that'd be kind of interesting, but no, not even that. Yeah, I would kind of like if that happened, just for the sake of having, like, an Articuno in the Pokedex or whatever, but I guess it doesn't really help you at all. Unlike Artic in, uh, Pokemon Black and White 2, minor spoilers ahead, uh, if you see everything in the Unova decks, you get access to a shiny Haxorus. If you catch everything in the Unova decks, you get a thing that makes eggs appear more often when you're using the daycare. And if you see everything in the national decks, then you get a charm that makes shiny Pokemon, like, three times as common. Which is still kind of It's low. one out of, like, 2,000-something. Well, that's not bad. I, I expect to run into at least 2,000 Pokemon in my LP, so... Yeah, but this is after completing yeah. the national deck. You don't have to catch everything, but I don't know how you're going to oh. see everything if you don't trade for everything anyway, so... Yeah, yeah um... Anyway, what am I doing here? Changing Pokemon. What did the other person even have? I don't remember. Five or five, whatever, I'll keep what I have. Yeah. From what I've um, heard, if you trade Pokemon every single turn, like, you get better luck. But I don't know how that works, so I don't know if it's true. It might be just a lie dreamt up by a crony. 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 Yeah. Listen, you, you one-eyed little cretin. <laughs> I meant cretin. That was, that's what it was. Um, but yeah, by the time I get to Battle Frontier, my Emerald Let's Play, I expect to have the Pokedex completed anyway. So it shouldn't annoy me too much that I'm seeing rare Pokemon. Indeed. I don't know what else to say to that, just indeed. 
Okay, this uh, might kind of suck. Because I believe, yeah, both of my Pokemon are weak to this thing's types, so... It did not use a water move, so either it doesn't have one, or it is very stupid. Hey, Big Dip, I have a question. You know how Wally catches Ralts as it has his first Pokemon? Yeah. All Ralts knows of that level is Growl. Yep. How did he train it? Struggle. <laughs> I don't know, that, or he just, like, beat it with a stick until it learned a new move. Oh, God. Team. Anyway, fun fact about the Wally battle. Uh, if he runs into a really low IV Ralts and he happens to get a really high IV Zigzagoon, he can actually KO the thing during the scripted battle. But then he, like, still somehow catches it. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that. Know that. Also, I it can be shiny. But I don't know if it remains shiny in his various rematches. I don't think it does. In fact, I'm certain that it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So anyway, I guess the gimmick of the, um... Battle Factory, other than the whole, like, fact that, hey, you have to use Pokémon that aren't yours. Uh, the trick is you just kind of have to know what type everything is and, like, what moves they specialize in, and then... If you know that kind of stuff, then... You'll mostly be okay until the game decides to screw you over for absolutely no reason. Uh, so, this is basically Japanese Pokemon Stadium 1. Is it now? <laughs> <laughs> you get to select from a small amount of Pokemon, and luck pretty much plays a larger role than anything. I guess that could be true. Anyway, I'm going to try out that Celio, actually. Togetic has been decent, but... Anyway... Uh, a horror story with the Battle Frontier in. It was either Platinum or uh, Soul Silver. I think it was Soul Silver. I was trying to get uh, BP so I could get a Razor Claw to evolve Sneasel. Oh, jeez. And, uh. Yeah, I'm dead. Any um, anyway, I, I was going through the factory instead of anything else just because I figured that the other things were going to be ridiculously luck haxy. So I, um... At one point, I had a ninjask, which I was enjoying because it has speed boost and sword dance, swords dance, and I believe it also had baton pass, and I was getting some decent use out of it. The Celio sucks. Um... And then I came across a Crobat, and it was the person's last Pokemon, and I was just gonna kinda, like, duke it out with the Crobat. I don't remember what moves it had. Anyway, the Crobat outsped me. I wanna know how the hell this happened. Because... Oh, Jesus. I guess what? I lost. Oh, don't say that. Ancient power of the oh, crap. fake tears. Kill it. Oh, really? Oh, what? It did, like, no damage. How? Like I said, I am darn fast. <laughs> He never said that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that was probably stupidity on my part, because the Celio did have rest and snore. I could have actually, like, healed and stuff, but... Whatever. This is so completely random that it's not really worth mentioning, so... Uh, should this be the end of the video? I, I can probably show some other stuff off, but I don't know what. Um... I say we go Do for. Do what now? Um, how about the maybe the egg thing? No, nah, I'm gonna do that in a different video. Oh. I will go through it again, and I will open level. Yeah, well, maybe I'll do open level next time. I'm going to lead with the crappiest Pokemon that it offers me, and see how well I can do with it. So let's see, Omanite, Yanma, Plusle, Haunter, Graveler, Staryu. None of them. Yanma. That. Yeah, I'm not. It's pretty bad. Let's see what moves it has. Or, I guess we'll find out. Uh, <laughs> Omanite. Plusle. Go for Plusle. And... Yeah, because I haven't used a Plusle in this run at all. Graveler, I guess. Whatever. Let's see what the Yanma gives me. <laughs> Watch it have, like, explosion. Not too bad, honestly. 
I could probably get through quite a bit with this thing. I just set up a whole bunch of double teams. And yeah, then died a rock slide. Okay, that didn't end so well. Granted, it is against a fire type, but yeah. Well, that was easy. Yes, it was. Kind of makes you wonder what's going to come up next. Yeah, I'm probably not going to go too far with this anyway. I was because I, per I like purposely chose the bad Pokemon. But anyway, I guess I can end the video and uh, keep going with this off screen. And if I get anywhere noteworthy, then that'll be shown. I don't know. It's hard to consider anything noteworthy in this, because everything is completely randomized, so... Yeah. Terrible ending. <laughs>